Well, part of that same conversation with Boosie, we started talking about Jay Z, and Jay Z felt well, well. But I actually said that Jay Z actually is relevant as a rapper right now. And Boosie disagreed. He said that Jay Z's relevant for his money, not for his music. Listen. That when you hear Jay Z cross the news, it's because he's making a billion dollar deal and so forth. But he feels that people don't really listen to Jay Z like that anymore. Like I think Jay Z is the only one at his age could drop and like everyone stops and listens to. You know what I'm saying? Like. Up there with the little babies and the and the Kendricks and like everyone's Jay Z's okay. not relevant this day for music. I think he is. I don't think he is. I I think he is. I don't think Jay Z's relevant this day for me. I don't. I don't. Uh, okay, so nah, so if Nas, like, if you gonna say Jay Z relevant and Nas ain't relevant, no. Oh, okay. He, no. Okay. So, okay. Let's put it like this. Do you think if Jay Z dropped a brand new album not, right no, now? No. 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 Just like when I go to these clubs in Atlanta, you know these twenty-five to thirty-five clubs. I'm not hearing Nas. I'm not hearing Jay Z. Every club I go in is not one or the other. Vlad. I be in nigga. I'm in the city. I'm outside. I be. I be everywhere. It's not one of the other, Vlad. I'm telling you that. Jay-Z is respected by these people for being that boss that he is. Mm. When Jay-Z flash cross that motherfucker, it's something with a billion dollars. It's something with a 500 billion, 200 billion. When them young niggas see him, it ain't his song slashing across no fucking social media. It's his hustle. That nigga got hustle. That's what everybody... Fucked up about him relevance right now. No, I'm not finna say that I hear Jay Z in the club and I don't hear Nas. Listen, see, you know that's about you know you asking me. I mean, everybody thinks I don't like Jay Z. I like Jay Z. I just there's just parts of his hustle I just like. Ugh. But Jay Z is pop. Yeah. So it's, 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 he's pop. He's married to the biggest star in the world. Mm -hmm. When you say Jay-Z, you kind of say Beyonce. Jay-Z, Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> you guys so it's like, it? you're not really, yeah, that's, yeah. It's like maybe where, where he's, he's going to, like, I don't go to clubs and shit like that. I, I, I'm not taking a gun. I'm not taking my child and shooting a motherfucker. But if I go to a restaurant, that's why I tell people the difference between uh, a catalog that you can sell and a catalog you can't sell is can they listen to your music in the elevator? When they go to the Four Seasons, are they playing? They're playing um, Jay Z and um, Beyonce. They have that version. So, they're not playing 21 Slavage. Okay? I don't know if they're playing Lil Bootsy. Right. So, I mean, Bootsy made actually a pretty good, interesting point. Uh, what he said was when you look at Nas's fan base, like his original fan base, half of them are probably dead. No, come on, man. That's what I'm saying. What These said. kids, they think, they're not thinking globally. Nas can go to Europe right now and sell that motherfucker out. Right. He can go to uh, Australia. He can go to Africa. Right, because he's legendary. Right. And that, so right. that passes irrelevancy. Irrelevancy is just a term record execs would give you so they won't have to give you your money. But these kids don't know that shit. They just hear somebody saying, oh, you irrelevant. You don't even know what the fuck it means. <laughs> Where it came from. You're not selling no records, motherfucker. Y'all selling dreams. You're selling dreams. You know what I'm saying? 